out in the country. I'm in Sussex. I have Myrtle by my side. Um, it's pouring with rain. I'm not going to talk too much on this camera as we're moving because I realised last time I filmed in the car, there's an awful rattle noise because the camera's on top of the dashboard. So let me just tell you what I'm doing, where I'm going, and then you will catch up with me when I'm there. I go to what I call my special place, usually once in the summer and once in the winter. I didn't manage to get there this summer. Um, and uh, so I am going this Christmas week to have a night there because it's a very special night. They have a chapel in the grounds. I'm going obviously to Bailiff's Court, which is in Climping. And um, it's a medieval folly. It's a wonderful place and I love it. Many of you actually have been there since I've been banging on about it. For years I never told anyone where I was going because I like to keep it a secret. But um, so many people said, where is this place? Where is this place when I filmed there? Um, so it's in Climping and there's a chapel in the grounds, tiny, tiny little chapel. And I have always wanted to see in there. I've never seen in there, it's always been locked. They open it once a year for carols. And I think they're candlelit. So I am going down. I was on a waiting list and I, I'm, I'm able to go. Someone must have canceled. So I'm spending the night there and I'm going to the candlelit concert. I'm gonna walk on the beach. I have Myrtle by my side. She doesn't like going anywhere, um, but it's nice to have her there. It's, I, I take her with me everywhere. She doesn't like the beach, she doesn't like the sea because it scares her, but she may, she's getting better. So hopefully she'll be a bit more relaxed. Um, this is not a gift. I don't stay in any hotels gifted. I pay the full whack to stay there. I don't ask for a gift. Um, I don't even know if they know I promote it and I don't think they'd even care because it's a very popular place for people in this area in Sussex. The drive there is spectacular and I always film a little bit for you so I will do that but it's pouring with rain so I don't know how much you're going to see. But anyway that's it because this might rattle and how many days are we before Christmas? Four days before Christmas so it's very close. You'll be watching this on Thursday and this is Tuesday. So I've got to turn this around quickly, Philippe. Let me just show you the room that I'm in. I've never been in this room before. I've been in nearly every room here at Bailiffs. This is Mornsbrook. We go in. Myrtle's already here. Hello, Mert. You made yourself at home. You love it here, don't you? Yes, you love it. Everybody, just look at this. Look, first of all, just look at the beams. Calm down, Mert. Very excited. And I'm looking out onto the courtyard with the Christmas tree. And I love the fat Myrtle. We've got our own log fire with our log basket. Let's hope we can do better than we did last time. Here's Myrtle's food, her bowl and a menu, a dog menu. We're looking out this way towards the sea and the spa, and that's the croquet lawn. The bed is a four-poster bed, Myrtle. A four-poster bed. Look at that, everybody. How beautiful. And then we go through here. Oh, I'll show you before we go anywhere else. There's a little door. I love all this. They have nooks and crannies. And through this door, 
We've got ironing board, tea, coffee, homemade biscuits. They, I love this. They always leave a nice jar of homemade biscuits and a safe tea and coffee. That's through these wonderful old wooden doors. But you wait. Are you happy, Mert? Are you happy? You love it here, don't you? Shall we have a look at the bathroom, Mert? Two robes, which I will probably use, but look. Hello, everybody. Look at this. Dum, da, dum. A free standing bath. Looking out over the courtyard with the Christmas tree. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's just getting dark. His and her sinks, but they'll only be her, no his. And everybody, what you've been longing for me to get, an outfit of the day mirror. This is what I should have at home. And a beautiful big shower. So there we go. That is my stunning room. And Myrtle, you're very at home. And we'll light the fire later. Great big tapestries. How beautiful. Oh, yes. Okay, everybody, I'm getting ready for the carol service. Can you see I am wearing my gingerberry pearls? I'm wearing pearl earrings. I'm wearing my very long string of cultured pearls from Gingerberry. And I, I can't wait to show you this. This has taken so much organizing. I am wearing a white crepe winter dress from Jane. You know I have the, the pencil, the black pencil dress with the velvet bow tie by Jane that used to be goat but is now Atelier Jane. I am so pleased to say, because I said I was going on a very, very special carol service in Sussex, um, they said, let us send you something on loan. This is on loan. Um, and I, I might well buy it, actually. I just wanted to try it out. I love winter white. I love winter white. I cannot tell you what this feels like. So, are you ready for a long shot? So, look at this. Just look at this. See how it is weighted? It's got a beautiful waistband. It's got these beautiful pleats. It is lined. Look at Myrtle. She loves it here. Um, it has the most, well, it's just the most beautiful neckline. I absolutely love this dress. I'm wearing it with Jimmy Choo's. And this is what I'm wearing to the carol concert. Now I was, if you have a look, just look at the pleats. Look at every single detail. I love the way they've done the shoulders. And I think my pearls go really nicely. But I was gonna wear it with my white coat because you all love it when I do that. But I'm actually gonna wear it with my Charlotte Simone and style it up a little bit. So you wait and I'll show you what I'm wearing with it. This is how I am styling it up to go to the carol service. Pearls, Jane Crepe winter dress, Charlotte Simone, and my little beanie that has been knitted for me by Frankie. Oh, I just love it. Love it.
So I am just going down to the chapel now. This is the path. It's a tiny chapel, so there won't be many in the congregation. And I'm going in. I think it seats about 60. So look, we are right in the grounds, everybody. This is, these are the grounds, miles away. People just coming out, and I'm going in for the next one. So this is the chapel. So just look at this. So everybody, this is 13th century. This is the original bailiff's court. So this was the first building that was brought here. Um, and it's be, been deconsecrated, so people can party in here, have carol concerts in here, have blessings in here. It is stunning. It's near what I call the Peacock's home. And um, yes, yeah, so that's where we're going to have the carol service. And they very kindly let me film before everybody gets in here, because they don't want a camera stuck under their nose. But just look. Just look. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Fill the meat cup to play in the barrel. Fa la la la, fa la la la. To roll the ancient Christmas carols. Fa la la la, fa la la la. There. Oh, that was amazing. It was the most beautiful carol con carol concert. Myrtle, you love it here. She loves it here so much, don't you? You don't like really going anywhere, but you love being at Bailey's. Right, we're going to see if we can light this fire. Um, last time I was here, it worked quite well, Mert. I'm going to, yes, yeah, sit, you sit, you sit. You're not going to light the fire. I'm going to light the fire, then I'm going to have a lovely bath in that roll top um, bath. And I might... Let's see if I, I think you light it from the bottom. There's a real art, isn't there, to fire lighting, and I don't know. My mother always said you should only use one match. If you know how to light a fire, you only need one match. Myrtle, sit. You sit. There. Lovely fire. Lovely fire. Put the guard. There. Look at this, Myrtle. Come and sit. Sit here and sit. There. No, you don't go near it. There. There. She's mystified by it. Nice fire, Mert. Nice fire, Mert. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this bath is like a swimming pool for someone my size. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's Christmas trees in the courtyard, just in the window behind me. Anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, many of you may think what a strange thing to do is go to one of the most romantic hotels I think I've ever stayed in. It is such a romantic hotel. Um, on such a magical time at Christmas. All on your own. And I do it all the time. I think I've told you that I have in the past, when I had a partner, I would come here with him. And we had a great time. We had a fantastic time. But since that partner, I've always come here on my own. In fact, I used to come here on my own um, before that relationship. And can I just be strictly honest? I much prefer being here on my own. I, the thing about this place is you're never lonely. The, the, the staff are fantastic. 
the people that I sat next to at the carol concert were so lovely and friendly, this lovely couple who live in Worthing. Um, but there's also dogs. You come through the dining room and there's dogs sitting there. You know, if you eat in the, in the lounge, sorry, not in the dining room, if you eat in the lounge, there's dogs sitting, um, having, well, not having dinner, but sitting by the side. So, yeah, you can eat in the lounge with your dog by your side. If you eat in the dining room, you can't. Um, I, I just... I just prefer, I prefer being on my own here. I love it. I love going away with my girlfriends, you know, on all our trips and Frankie and Ange and Lou and Michelle and all those people I go away with. But when I come here, I just love it on my own. And whether I would without Myrtle, and before that it was Matilda, I don't know. But having a dog makes it really, really special. Anyway, look at the stage of me. You can see all my grey, my hair. I'm saving my hair. Sophia is going to do my hair in January. It needs, it, look at the colour. It's dark at the back, grey at the front. <gasps> it needs a trim, but we'll do that in January. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to get up. I'm going to have a swim outdoors. I'm going to have a massive breakfast here. And then I'm going to drive back and I'm going to call in and see my mum. So yeah, but this has been amazing. It's amazing in the summer and it's absolutely fabulous at Christmas. I'm going to turn this off without revealing anything because Philippe edits this and he does not want to see a 68 year old's body getting out of the bath, I can tell you now. Myrtle hates the sea. 
you would have noticed her run on the beach was extremely brief and now she's running back to the hotel because she knows she can sit by the fire I'm so ashamed of her she is such a towny dog she is such a madam all the country dogs are having nice long walks Myrtle looked at the sea and then just ran why did you run the sea's lovely Matilda used to love the sea hey you want your breakfast in the fire cheeky madam cheeky madam go on then I love the fact you can see her little white bottom making her way back to her room to the fire little madam well done you found your way home yeah. Mert? Oh my gosh, hello everybody. I am back in London. I know that finished rather abruptly. Um, Myrtle really didn't, she loves the hotel. She loves being in the rooms and she loves being in the dining rooms and the lounges by the fire. She hates being on the beach. She actually doesn't mind the grounds, but she just hates being on the beach. She's scared of the sea. Anyway, I am back in the smoke, as they say. I'm so sorry about this bird poo very unattractive I think that must be seagull poo um, from climping um, look at me I've got no makeup on but oh my gosh I feel invigorated um, I promised my hair I'm gonna have it done in January um, can I just say that this is my second to last vlog so the last one will be on Saturday and all of you who have sent walking clips in Carnaby Street they will be on the next vlog um, Philippe tells me there's about 22 of them, so they will all be on my last vlog of the year. Um, and I'm going to leave it here. I've got loads to do. I'm shooting this on my phone. If you think something was a bit odd about um, some of the clips I shot in this vlog, my camera broke in the middle of shooting. Can you believe it? And um, I am so thrilled Philippe actually rescued what I'd filmed because a lot of it was unusable, which is such a shame. But I think I captured everything I wanted to capture. Um, it was magical. It was the most magical time. It will no doubt be the best bit of my Christmas. Other than my Christmas Day radio show, which you must tune in for, I'm doing breakfast on um, the radio on Christmas Day. Please subscribe. Someone had said to me, gosh, Joe, wouldn't it be great if you hit your target at Christmas? I'm way, way off. But if you just, any of you who are watching and you enjoyed it and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. It costs nothing. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, because I have time over the holidays to answer your comments. And enjoy what's leading up to the big day. Enjoy it and I will catch up with you on Saturday. Bye everyone, bye.